to me of attending the Researcher to Read a conference uh, previously has been very much the interaction with people from different parts of the industry. And also I've really enjoyed the, the opportunity to dig deep into a subject through the workshops that, that run over the two days. One of the things that I really like about R2R is the focus that you have on a particular issue where you're assigned a group and then that group works through the conference together over you know four, four meetings or so. And I think that that will translate well to uh, an online environment. So if we can have the same thing, having breakout sessions, breakout rooms, because I know Zoom can do that, where you have breakout rooms and very informative uh, topics. I think the fact that it covers everything from the challenges of the research all the way through the kind of publication cycle has been really valuable. The idea of having um, more presentations that are polished, but then having the, the ability to interact at the end of the session through questions and answers and chat is better than having everybody on Zoom at the same time. As an online conference, I think it uh, allows you to uh, have more people attend and more people uh, as part of the collaboration. The R2R as an online conference has, uh, has, has got a lot to live up to, to replicate its, its physical um, benefits, but I think it's up to the challenge. So R2R is planning to make this exceptional value with all of the usual interaction collaboration. The fact that this is going to be online this year means I think it will just be even better, even more global and even more of a collaborative atmosphere. So I can't wait.